everyone, it's Hermione and today I'm going to be showing you some DIY dollar store room decor because you guys seem to really like these videos and I love showing you stuff that you can make on a budget. And with back to school season coming up, I know a lot of you will be going to university and college and sleeping in dorm rooms. So maybe you might be able to make some of these before you go to take with you. And just before I get started, my camera has been... There is no hope left for my camera. It just hates me right now. It's really grainy and it's really dark and the footage is just not great. So for the time being, just bear with me. I'm sorry if the footage isn't as good as it normally is, but it will be back to normal ASAP. I was just looking through the footage of this video and I was really upset with it, so... I'm sorry if it's not up to scratch, I hope you guys can understand, but like I said it will be back to normal soon so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you will see all of my future videos. I have back to school videos coming up very soon so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get into it. For the first room decor idea I'm going to show you how to make this little succulent planter that actually doubles as a phone charger and it's super easy to make so here is what you need. You need fake succulents, some popsicle sticks, some florist foam and a hot glue gun. Start by taking your floral foam and this is the kind of styrofoam one and it's really difficult to cut so if you can get the really soft one. I had to use a knife but I would really recommend using the soft one because you can kind of just cut that with scissors or a pencil. So I'm just cutting out my phone shape here making sure it's deep enough for the phone to stand in and then also I'm poking a hole in the bottom to make sure that my phone cable can fit through that way I can plug it into the wall. I'm also painting this but this is optional you don't have to if you don't want to and then I'm cutting up some popsicle sticks from the dollar store these are really small ones I thought they were really cute but regular ones work just as well and I'm hot glue gunning those on I cut some of them in half to make it kind of look like a crate that you would get plants in or something and just make it look a little bit more rustic and cover every single side and once you have done that you're gonna put your fake succulents depot them and then just put them into the foam once you've arranged them how you'd like that's everything you have to do for this DIY it is so simple and like I said everything came from the dollar store and here I am putting the phone cable through and putting my phone in it so it's not just room decor it's functional room decor and I think this would be really fun to take to college if you're just starting up college and going into a dorm room. The next thing I'm going to show you is this floral tray and you can make this in a variety of different patterns and once again I got all the materials for this at the dollar store. For this craft you'll need a glass plate, some decorative tissue paper, mod podge and a foam brush. Start by taking your glass plate and I found these tissue papers in the gift wrapping section of the dollar store. I'm flipping the glass plate over and covering it in a layer of Mod Podge on the bottom of the plate that way the paper will shine through and it won't tear off. I'm then laying the paper on top and covering it in Mod Podge making sure to pop through the little feet of the plate and I'm making sure it has a good coverage of Mod Podge. Once it's dried overnight you can go ahead and cut the excess paper off and that's all there is to it. Flip it over and you have a little plate to store whatever you want on or to put on your side table and I like this because the paper is not going to rip because it's underneath the bowl and you can see the pattern clearly through the glass. For this next project I upcycled some hooks that I found in the dollar store so I'm going to show you how I did this to store my clothes, hats and scarves. For this project you will need some hooks, some wooden blocks, craft paint and you will need some temporary tattoos or a pen. I'm taking the wire hooks and I'm using these wooden blocks that I already had and I'm going to hot glue gun them on. You can use a flooring sample or just a piece of wood from the hardware store. You can add whatever you want to the front of this but I'm making sure that it's a flat surface so that I can decorate the top of it. Once the glue was dry I gave the whole thing a coat of blue paint and then I let it dry. Once it was dry I used a little sanding block and I sanded the front of it to give it a more rustic feel. And then once that was done, I used some temporary tattoos for this because I haven't used this method in a while and it's really easy to make a really fun project with these. So I'm just cutting them out, sticking them on as you do with temporary tattoos on your skin and using water to transfer them to the wood. 
You could totally use a paint pen and make patterns or make a phrase or something, but I thought I would try this method to show you how this works. And this is the finished result. And if you screw this into your wall, it will be strong enough to hold coats, hats, scarves, anything you want. And finally, here is a really simple bonus project. For those of you who can't put wall decals on your wall, whether that's because you're not allowed by your parents or you're renting a home, this is what you need to create this. You need a photo frame and some wall decals, which I found from the dollar store, of course. To start, I'm taking the photo frame apart and then I am painting it a coat of this blue paint. You can paint it whatever color you want, of course or leave it as it is. And these are the wall decals. I think they're so cool for the dollar store. So all I'm doing is taking a sheet of card that fits the photo frame and adding all of the feathers from the Dreamcatcher onto the sheet of card. You could totally do this on a really big canvas. It would look so cool. You could get a couple of packs of these and it would look awesome. But this is just to show you, you don't have to use those wall decals on your actual wall. And this is what mine's starting to look like. It's just kind of abstract and I just put them all together, put it back in the frame and there you go. And that is everything I have to show you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna try and make any of these